the first time. Hello? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of space so we're not gonna cut it out this is a big part of this experience right right okay there are so many things that i want to talk about today with the video with the video so many things me and ali have not made a video in a real long time it's been like months y'all months <laughs> since like october <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so And so there's so many things to talk about. And we have exactly we have um, twenty minutes to talk about that. Twenty minutes decision. Twenty minutes. Can you say that? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. It's like you don't say the N. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. It's like her putter. <laughs> Is that her putter? Putter? Putter. Anyway, okay. Any hoots. The things that I wanted to talk about today. Do you know Ali? No, what are they? We're going to talk about the things that you shouldn't say when you meet someone is with a, a disability. Oh, I thought there was a bug by the phone. Did you see that? There was a bug. Me? Sorry. But it's gone now. What you shouldn't say to somebody who has a disability. Somebody that has a disability. <laughs> Tell a disability, what do you say with someone? You don't say things to them. You don't not you don't there aren't things to say to them. There's things not to say to them. The kinds of things you don't say to them are <clears throat> That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't say that sucks. I'm Aww. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So, like, I'll be pushing my basketball chair with my luggage on it, going through the airport, traveling the world, you know, just living life, smiling, my head is up. I look strong, like, I look buff, confident, <laughs> independent. happy, independent, and the this person will say, out of nowhere, I don't know them I'm at the airport, and they'll be like, what happened? And I'm like... Oh, you know, I was in a motorcycle accident and I got paralyzed. It's all good, you know, like it's fine. And I'm like so irritated already. And I'm trying to smile and just be like, mm, mm, get the hint, dude. Like, I'm not sad. It should have been obvious already. And obviously, you didn't get it. So I'm trying to act like that. And then they'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry that happened. That's really sad. No, they don't go into that. I just got really weird for a minute. <laughs> it's kind of like that, though. Like, it is. Far, like... It is, yeah. They'll just, yeah, they'll be like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'm just, like, trying to go to the bathroom, you know, just. And, uh, and then they look at me one more time with this really, this look of pity. And there's everything, their shoulders go down, like, everything. And I'm just, like. You know, like, so irritated. So that's one thing. Don't do that. Like, the, the thing I think you should say instead <laughs> is, you, you can say, um, is it okay if I ask why you're in a wheelchair? Like, because you're curious. It's not a big deal, and it's totally fine. I used to always be curious. I asked everyone, even after my accident, and now I'm just, I've heard so many crazy stories that it's not really that crazy anymore. <laughs> you know? But... It's not really that crazy. Yeah, you can say, oh my god, that's so crazy, or dang, like, I can't imagine. Same girl. Yeah, but just don't try and bring it down to a level of pity. That's one. Bam! That was what I wanted to talk about. There's a lot of other things, but maybe Video you Video cut. Things. Okay, a cut. Wait, what? Do you have anything about what annoys, mm -hmm. like, what people, oh. because you're in a wheelchair? Yeah, I do. This okay. happened the other weekend. I was out at the bar with my friends and we went to the bathroom or I went to the bathroom and I was standing in line waiting and this girl comes up to me and she was like oh do you need help in the bathroom and I literally was like mm -hmm. 
I was like, I was like, no, I don't. And she walked away, and I was like, <laughs> and you're trying yeah, to be out here, nice. I'm like, I'm just like trying to be nice and no, cool. And I thank get, you though. Thanks. Like, no, I came out here all this by myself. Can I'm you like my line. butt? Yeah. Can you change my diaper? I need my diaper. <laughs> yes, actually, I'm so happy Good. that someone came along and asked me. Because I was gonna have to change my Thank own diaper. You. I'm just waiting in. I was waiting in line for someone to help me. Yeah. And I know she probably didn't mean well, but she needed to be educated. She did. And mean she well, said I mean. she meant well, but I, I honestly didn't want to talk. Like she kept. She was. I. It rubbed me. The it's wrong just way. like, dude, you're not paying attention yeah. to what's going on around like, you. Mind your own business. No. <laughs> no. More like they just aren't catching hints, and it's really hard sometimes not everyone's not catching hints some people just truly are trying to so hard to be nice but yeah just, but just we're like, humans come on, we're human beings like god and she oh yeah. god i and oh i get so defensive like i want to be like oh, yeah. this is my job i do this i don't need help blah, 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 blah. yeah and i don't like that part of me i don't like that part of me either when i'm really irritated but I'm trying to be nice because I know you're trying to be nice. But it's just, it's but really like, hard on. sometimes. Like, yeah, like, yeah, but that's just ridiculous. So that's, like, the only thing that bothers me. Yeah. It's happened recently. Yeah. Like, there's, oh. okay, there's a way to ask, like, do you need help? For one, when someone's going to the bathroom, if they needed help, they would have a caretaker with them because they actually need help everywhere they go. And if they we probably wouldn't be out in the world by ourselves if we needed our butt wipes. Our butts <laughs> wipes, you know? Like, that's just... <coughs> I'm going to the bar to get my butt wipe. That's what I do. <laughs> <coughs> and if, like, we're bringing groceries to the car and you see us and you ask if we need help, um, ask it in a cool way that's, like, not... I don't know because obviously like not intrusive. Like, yeah, I think that if you just are like, hey, like, do you need help? Like, if yeah. anyone, but not being like just automatically assuming that people need yeah. that we need help. Like for one, if you think that we might need help, then ask everyone that you think might need help. But <laughs> <laughs> if it looks like we're honestly just like moving along in a good speed and then we're carrying be. our groceries, like <laughs> you're just gonna slow us. We probably got it. And, yeah. you know, it just, we don't mean anything rude by it. Or does it ever happen, this would happen. <laughs> <laughs> when I'd be wheeling, and, like, someone would be, like, kind of, like, far away, and they would, like, sprint up to go open the door for me, and yeah. then I'd be like, I gotta get there fast. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. And then, I know. I'm, like, and then you hit a crack, <laughs> like, I have little wheels, so if I'm, like, trying to do something out of my ordinary, like, I what? hit cracks, and I flip over, and I, Yeah. Yeah, when they try and hold the door. Or when you're pushing through the airport and you're just maneuvering around people, you're just, you know, living your life. And then someone decides to come along behind you and start saying, wheelchair, out of the way, wheelchair, move. And you're just a normal, like, like the person screaming that is a normal citizen just, like, going through the airport. But they're yelling behind you and you're just like, can you stop making a really big deal about this? Like, I don't need you to all sprint. And everyone looks around and then they, like, sprint out of the way and they have this look of fear on their face. And I'm like, you guys, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just, I'm just going, like. I'm just doing it. Just going. Yeah. That's just another one. Living. Um, yeah. That's a good one. That's, oh, and then, um, don't, if some, like, whenever I'm coming in, I swear Target is the place <laughs> that all the people that seem to think if you are pushing semi fast, that you're gonna get a speeding ticket. Like, there's no speed limit out there, and we're not gonna get a speeding ticket. And it's, okay. For, like, four people, I have told, because I've gotten to the point after 10 years um, of being in a wheelchair, that I'm going to start trying to educate them, even though I feel really bad because I know they're trying to be really nice. But if they say that I'm going to get a speeding ticket, I've gone out of my way to be like, I'm really sorry. Like, I know I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. I understand. But, like, don't, like, that joke's just not funny. Like, everyone says it. I don't know. Like, I hear it, like, three times a day. And just don't say it to people in wheelchairs. It's just not, it's not funny. It's just not. And, like, when I'm in a bad mood and I'm just trying to hurry and go into the grocery store and 
get what I need and try and, like, you know, be as nice as I can. And then someone tells me that I'm going to get a speeding ticket. And I'm like, <laughs> like and I try and Whoa. laugh, but it's not funny at all. And I'm just like, <laughs> and then I keep pushing. And I just, I hate having to do that. So the less I have to do it, the better. And just like, please don't say it. Don't say it. Don't even do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Speeding ticket. Um, what's another one? Do you want to race? They ask you if you want to race and you know that they don't mean it. They don't actually want to race. Or when they call you speeding McSpeeders in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you don't even know. Yeah. You One don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who speeding McSpeeders in is. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> his friends are going to go to Moon. <laughs> oh. Beach. But, yeah. But, yeah. So just be cognizant. Er, damn it. Okay. Yeah, don't not, don't say we're gonna get a speeding ticket. Don't say uh do don't ask if we wanna race. Um don't don't, don't sprint to a freaking door. Don't sprint I'm to like a door 50 yards away. And, and I have to wheel away. real fast because I don't want you to hold Stress the door. Us out. Like, and uh, like it gonna... takes a lot more to be in a wheelchair than you know, it's it's harder than it looks. Um, um, what was the other thing I said? Um, spent like an hour on it. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, I don't know. I don't know. What's another? Oh, okay, so disabled stalls. When you go into a bathroom and you're at like a concert or something. <laughs> And there's only one disabled stall and then like 15 able-bodied stalls, then, okay, you can wait until we get like five or six people behind you, <coughs> even three or four. But once we get there, if the, if the stall opens up, or as soon as we come around the corner in the bathroom, as soon as you see us, if the stall for the accessible bathroom opens up, don't go in it. Like, tell us that we can go because we have to wait for all, like, 20 <coughs> stalls to open while one after the other is go, and then that person comes out. And that, like, yeah, that's why. Like, that's why you should just let, like, ask us at least. And if the person in front of us doesn't ask us and they go in there, but maybe they didn't see us and it's not a big deal, like, we can forgive them, we can understand, but the person behind us, Please don't start yelling at the person who didn't let us go in the stall because I'm not mad at them. Like, they didn't see me, and I don't want to make a really big deal about it because that's kind of mean. And give them a chance. Like, they, they didn't see me. I'll make a big deal. If the second person goes into that stall without me, then you can make a big deal, maybe. But, you know, the first person, please don't, like, freak out. <laughs> It's, like, I hate that. I'm not making a big deal, and you're making me being in a wheelchair a bigger deal than it is. That's what's happening. Ellie, focus. Any more? It's just Tyler. I know, but any more? Uh, no. You have nothing just don't, else that don't, you want to change. Don't patronize me. Don't. Well, I how do bad. people patronize you? <coughs> don't make me feel bad. Don't feel sad for me. Like, you don't have the right to feel sad for me. But in what ways story. do people feel bad and sad for you? Put the phone down for one second. Hold on. Five minutes. We gotta finish this for okay. five minutes. I just hate when people feel, you can tell when people feel sad for you. If they're like, oh, like what you said, like, oh, I'm so sorry. Or or you can just tell with their mannerisms and the face on, their look on their face. And I'm just like. This is just your life, right? Just my life? Like, you're in a wheelchair. It's not a big deal. Right, yeah. But I feel. And you're I, okay. You're not sad about it. No. Are you sad about it at all? No. Anyway. No. No? Are you sad about it? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, there's sometimes I'm like, oh my god, this sucks. But it's not like, not like, I don't know, I'm not sad about it. Especially when I'm going out and people are like, I'm like, that's what You're I'm just trying to live your life. Like, just live my life, doing my own thing. Yeah. Don't, like, I probably do more than you do. So don't feel bad for me. Yeah. Yeah. In exactly. Case. Yeah. So there's no, okay, so like what about parking in a dis like an accessible parking spot? Huh? 
What about when you park in an accessible parking spot? Do people stare at you weird? Like, why what? are you parking there? Like, you're oh, not yeah. disabled. Yeah. Because you're pretty, I've gotten so. really nasty notes on my car. And I, it was on my, I deleted it, but it was on my Instagram before I came to California. Who gave you nasty notes? Someone wrote a really nasty note on my car. What'd they say? Um, that I am beeped up for parking in handicap because, and then I'm, because I'm not handicapped. But did they see you get in your wheelchair? No, they didn't see, I didn't have a placard hanging, but it's on my license plate. And they left oh. that on my car, on a piece of paper. Hmm. I was like, oh, really? I'm not handicapped? Okay. Yeah. So they just so, judge you because they yeah. didn't see a placard. And they but I'm were... like, truly, you're not really handicapped because you didn't even look on the license plate. Or you are handicapped. That's not a funny joke. <laughs> not at all. I would never joke like that. So. <sighs> hmm. It is what it is. Let it be. Let people live their lives. And don't feel bad. You shouldn't feel bad for... You can... Em don't sympath... This is what I tell my patients. You can simp... We can sympathize. No, I don't want to sympathize with you. I want to emphasize, em empathize, em be empathetic with you. And that makes people feel a lot more better than feeling sad. If there's, yeah. If there's a difference between those two. Yeah. Like try and play, like put yourself in our wheels. Yeah. Like be like, wow, that's so cool that you're doing that. Like I would blah, blah, blah. But yeah. not be like, wow, like that sucks. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, was at, I was at a wheelchair basketball tournament too two weekends ago and this lady in the bathroom was like that's so amazing and I was like oh yeah thank you and then she kept saying it and I was like wait what is yeah. amazing and she was talking about us playing wheelchair basketball and then she was like it is so great to see people like you smiling Ugh. and I'm like thank you you tell <laughs> yeah. just all of these things it's not, that's not a true connection with people. Yeah. If she came out and been like, dude, that's so freaking cool. Yeah. Like, it's awesome. Like, what are you? Yeah. That's totally different. But like, like what? Oh, just please don't no. feel sorry for me because. Don't do that. That's like saying that, that's just, it, it says so many things. It says that you think your life is so much better or that like living a life in a wheelchair is so sad and we're strong enough, me and Allie both. To know that, like, you know, people don't get it, they don't mean anything by it, blah, blah, blah. But for a long time, for me, Allie moved on a little much quicker than I did. <laughs> but for a long time, I <clears throat> let it affect me, and I was really sad, and it was hard to hold my head up when everyone's looking at me with pity, and it, it was a struggle. And so all of those things that you say really do affect us, and especially if you take little kids into consideration, they don't even know that they're different. Even if they're in a wheelchair and all their friends are able-bodied, walking around, they don't notice that they're different until they get to the age when they start being left out and when people start telling them, you know, these things. Like, when they start talking to them with that pity. Everything that brings them down a level. So, like, you, it's what's taught to them. Yeah. They're, nothing is, di like, they're still humans. They can do plenty of things, and they're capable of pushing themselves and being better. So that's why I'm passionate about it. And, like, me and Allie can at least share, you know, what we've been through so that you can just, like, learn and change it. Educate yourself. Yeah. And if you have any questions, post them below, and we'll respond. She'll respond. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh goodbye. Goodness. Bye. Goodbye. Internet world. Internet world. So long. So long.